your mark. Do you want to do it? Um, I'd love to do this the same as we did same. yesterday. Like three um, minutes, all the other people. Yeah, maybe like three minutes and like 20 seconds just to make sure because um, I think we... We started too soon? I think we started too late. Just a hair too late. Oh. Just like 15 seconds. Just to time it perfectly, you know what? Okay, so I should start it at 9.27 and 20 seconds, or 9.26? 9.26 and 40 seconds. 40 seconds, I think. Okay, <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah, no worries. Um, and if we could finish the uh, one drop of blood, like do the fast section at the end, too. Oh, okay, sure. And wow. we could we could start it faster. It's like, do, 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 do. A bit slow, just because I can't make any of the phrases if I don't go faster. Oh, okay, be that way. <laughs> what do I want to play here? Um, <clears throat> that second system, if you could play the cello part with me, it's just, it's just the same notes as me, but it just is. That's the only reason I didn't, I thought. No, you should. I should, okay. okay. It says 926. I can't get the exact. I know we don't have like 15 seconds. seconds yeah. But I would think we're in the ballpark. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Oh. 
Good morning. Please stand and join in singing number 861. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today, the Gospel and the readings use an image of gardening, of caring for a plant, to help us to understand more fully the care that God has for each one of us. For the times when we doubted God's love and we sinned, we ask for mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I too will take, care, take from the crest of the cedar, from its topmost branches, tear off a tender shoot and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. And the mountain's height of Israel, I will plant it. I, it, shall be put forth, it shall put forth branches and hear and bear fruit and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the low tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom. As I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous, although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet you are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we acquire 
to please him. We aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. When I left the last school I was at, the group of mothers who gathered for prayer once a month, creatively called Mothers in Prayer, gave me a beautiful rosary and an orchid. Now, the orchid was small, but it had beautiful petals on it. I was a bit nervous because I'm not really much of a, a successful gardener or one who cares for plants. In fact, the poor plants that I've had in my life were really kind of sentenced to death. And part of the reason, it's not really difficult to figure out why, I would just simply forget they were there, which means I wouldn't water them. Or I'd compensate and water them too much. So when I got this orchid, I thought, how is this going to go? Now, perhaps on this Father's Day, my father is responsible because I remember him when I was a little kid telling me to go out and weed the garden. Now, I don't know about you. Maybe there are people who really enjoy weeding, but most people do not. As an adult, I kind of opted for the gospel way of taking care of weeds. 
let them grow up together. But I got this orchid, and actually what was nice is that the care of this orchid was really, is really quite easy, and it's miraculously still alive. It's easy because you just need to put an ice cube in it once a week. That's the perfect amount of water, and so that's what I do. The readings today talk about gardening. We know the first reference to the garden didn't work out so well for Adam and Eve because they refused to allow themselves to be cared for by God. The real sin of Adam and Eve was in thinking they knew better than God. Sure, God had told them not to eat this fruit, but they went ahead and did it anyway. Human reason convinced them that it would be okay. It looked pleasing to the eye. We could presume they understood that it was going to be uh, tasty. But it was an act of pride and a real forgetting that we are creatures and God is the creator. The readings today use images that would have been very familiar to the people who heard Jesus speak. We tend to plant things in an orderly fashion. If you go by a cornfield, for example, the corn is all planted in neat, orderly rows. When I was a little kid, I loved that because my cousins and I would uh, go out into a cornfield and we'd play hide and seek. And uh, it was great. Now, you could only play for a short time. The corn had to be tall enough and it had to be bushy enough. But it gave me real fond memories of time spent, summers spent with my cousins. When the uh, people in Jesus' day planted things, they simply took the seed and threw it and it would land wherever it would land. Jesus tells us this in one of his parables. Some lands in, on rock, some lands amid thorns, some lands on the footpath and doesn't grow, but some is successful. And so this analogy that Jesus mentions is really a good one. Moreover, there's a certain mystery about gardening. While we know what's going to happen, I don't know about you, but I think most people could not tremendously uh, describe in a meaningful way how it happens. We know the things we need to do to care for a plant, but we don't always have any understanding of specifically how the plant becomes a plant and gets larger from the seed. The question for us in today's gospel is, do we allow God to care for us? You know, there's a, a great short story, a little more than a short story, I guess, uh, by Antoine Saint-Exupéry called The Little Prince. Or if you're really eager, you can read it in French, Le Petit Prince. But it's really a story of a prince who really is obsessed with caring for his rose. And the story is filled with all kinds of symbolism about the power of care and love. That's really an analogy for how God views each one of us. We are the tremendous rose of God. We are the one that God cares for and nurtures and does everything in his power to give us the opportunity to grow and to thrive. But we need a bit of humility because we need to allow God to do so for us. We know that sometimes what seems to be a bad thing turns out to be the thing that God permits precisely because it will help our growth. Just as a gardener prunes a tree for its better growth. How do we care for God? Well, most importantly, we care for God by recognizing that we are beloved sons and daughters of God. We are that tender shoot that grows from the cedar tree in the first reading. But we need to do more, too. We need to recognize that every time we come to Mass, 
We come to worship the Lord Jesus Christ, who cares for us as his beloved son or daughter. That means, in a way, we have to prepare ourselves, too, when we come into church. Do we prepare ourselves to be ready to hear the Word of God, to be open to the Spirit, to take a few moments in silent reflection to think about those things that are happening in our life and where God is in our life. We have to recognize that if we allow God to care for us, it means we are better able to love God and to love our neighbor. Allow yourself today to be cared for by the Lord so that you may grow and thrive to live forever with him in eternity. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Confident that we are cared for by God, we bring our prayers before him. Bless and keep safe the fathers in our world and those who take on the role of father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bless the listening ministries of spiritual direction, counselors, and confessors, and inspire all of us to truly listen to one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Drive out the evils of racism, sexism, homophobia, and other systems of oppression. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Unite your people in works of service and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We hold before God all who have asked for our prayers, including Gert Fettig, Valerie Johnson, Doug Kirsten, Rick Warwick, Rosella Mulcahy, Daniel Wexler, Ruth Gaylor, Pamela Dormanen, Frank Belinsky, Gloria Mose, Al Sheehy, Leha Loftus, Deb Kalk, Jeannie Miller, Barbara Carlson, Lori Mandry, Christine Shaw Johnson, Craig Herbgert, and Connie Coyle, along with those whose names wish to be private. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those we pray, for those prayers we carry deep in our hearts, and for one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in peace of Christ, including Valerie Logas, and for Gladys Fetting, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for a very tragic event 
at Camp Northern Lights. There was a fire. Everyone is safe, I think, but um, uh, those that were there lost everything. So uh, as a little boy, the house I was in burned to the ground, so I have a special empathy for people in that situation. Uh, for them, for their safety, for their recovery, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we make these prayers in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Number 680. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory 
that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that, and that, that the cause of our downfall might be the means of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacral <clears throat> and recognizing the sacrificial You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, 
especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Albert the Great, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed 
are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Number 950, the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reminder that Father DePoris will be away for three weeks. He has the arranged for coverage of weekend and daily masses as described in this week's bulletin. Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament on Thursday evenings and Friday mornings is paused during his absence and will resume in the evening of July 11th and the morning of July 12th. Tuesday evening centering prayer is still an available quiet prayer time at 7 p.m. Finally, we invite our fathers and father figures to take a carnation on your way out today as a token of appreciation for your community from our community here at St. Albert the Great. Just to uh, let you know as well, so two weeks I'm visiting my mother in Vermont who will be 88 at the, next, at the end of next month. And then the week after that, I scheduled this before uh, my vacation time, which I try to have coincide with my cousins from Connecticut who come up to Vermont. Um, but in the week after, I will be in Napa, California, even at a retreat center, giving a retreat for those Christian brothers who are making their solemn profession. So pray for them during this time and pray for me as well. We have a special prayer of blessing for all fathers and father figures. God, our Father, in your wisdom and love you made all things. Bless these men that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And on the way out, uh, fathers and father figures are invited to take a carnation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying God by your lives.
Number 578, verses 1, 2, and 4.